As you know, the, the rule provides greater flexibility for lenders in rural and underserved areas, particularly to originate balloon loans, for example. But we've uh, heard from our constituents that there's a problem in certain rural areas that have been improperly designated as non-rural. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, my question to you would be whether or not the Bureau would be uh, open to allowing a, a process whereby uh, clearly uh, 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 wrongly designated rural areas could petition your agency for a proper designation of rural status. So here, here's what we did. Uh, I was convinced that we got the rural designation wrong or that, that it merited reconsideration. So we took that off the table. None of these lenders has to worry about that. For the, for the next two years while we rethink it. So I think we've done exactly what they wanted, which is nobody's being affected by that designation now. Uh, we will rethink it, and potentially it will end up being a different designation when we're through working through this, and we're interested in hearing from them in the meantime. I heard a lot from them initially, and that's what caused us to pull back Well, on it. whether it's in the case of the auto lending bulletin or in the case of uh, the QM rule, I would encourage the Bureau to, to, to allow more participation, whether it's notice and comment or whether it's a petition process where the American people can actually correct. If you have uh, anybody who's is. having trouble getting a meeting with us, you let me know. We're pretty accessible. Thank you. Widely accessible. Thank you. Time of the gentleman has expired. Chair now recognizes.